Young Champ, what? <laughs> One. Yer, what up, everybody? It's Ill Intent Podcast. It's your boy, Scott Paul. Steve shot it. And, and it's we, your boy, J. Crew. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got my boy, J. Crew, back in the building, man. It's good to have you. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me back, man. Of course. It's been a minute, but, you know, we here. Yeah. So what's, uh, what's life for you right now? Talk to the people. Life for me right now. Well, you know, um, I'm vaccinated. Hey. Okay. And I'm out here. <laughs> All right. Uh, you ready nah, to get active? Just, yeah, ready to get active. No, nah, I just had a, uh, you know, had a little baby girl. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's been tucked away. Trying to be a father. Figure that part out. Not trying. You know Not Try, trying. I mean, Being I a guess, father. I guess I'm, yeah. guess I'm doing it. I, I don't know yeah. what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, just, you know, my baby girl, man. I'm just super excited about that. Me and my wife and, uh, you know. Takes up most of my time, man. But you Yo, know, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate yeah. it for real. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Julia. Love you, baby. Hey, uh-huh. yeah, um, yeah. Anybody who heard the album, they know on track number two, "Back Getter." It's actually a track that he helped me out with. Um, he was supposed to be in the studio, yeah, yeah to wrap up the album, but he couldn't make it because because yeah. baby girl baby was girl was, was right coming. there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She was like, "Uh, excuse me." <laughs> yeah, we don't need we don't need you here, daddy. <laughs> you gotta wait, yo. <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, nah, that's beautiful. That's be- so it's like, yeah, we're gonna start off this episode a little different. Um, I've never been a daddy, neither has Steve. Not so, that I know of. so tell me that. Not that I, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm just waiting to get some results back. But uh, <laughs> you know, that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Uh, tell me what was like the last nine months like for you? Uh, man, it it was a it was a it, it was a weird feeling, you know what I mean? And I think Corona enhance that yeah um because you just you know yeah pregnancy is that's a wild time to be it's a wild time to make that big adjustment it's exciting but at the same time like you 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 just like hope everything goes fine you know saying you don't want to get in your mind that something might not or anything like that then it's like um you know you you go out into the world and your wife or or your significant other can't really do the things that she used to do mm. because of corona so we you know we inside and you worried about bringing something back and because they didn't know how that would affect pregnant uh, women pregnant, or, there's no data you didn't on want that. her to go right. into the hospital with everything going wow. on and then, you know what i'm saying so i had to be very careful like you know it was plenty of events or things you wanted me to come through and i had to really like like you know, I wanted to go, but I had yeah, to tell right. like, I can't, yeah. I don't want to take that chance. That. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, um, I'm, I'm super glad that that part of it is, uh, is over with. Um, still being cautious and still, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you know, even though the world is starting to, Open well, up, man. not, th- not the whole world, cause it's still fucked yeah. up in certain places, but mm-hmm. like, at least we're getting back to some type of normalcy a little bit. Um, but you still gotta be careful. But, uh, man, once she was here, and you know everything like that it was just like damn it's real because it didn't feel real it just yeah. felt like you know yeah she's pregnant but right. you know what I'm his saying? thumb was getting whatever. bigger and all that but you know we yeah. were still chilling we still doing what we want to do blah 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 and she she here all your focus is is yeah. her um she needs you, you yeah know what I'm saying? like you like literally <clears throat> have to be responsible for another human being like you got to feeder you got a cleaner you got about you know what i'm saying you got to make Everything. sure this is right you know to the simplest as her nose yeah you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying you got a booger you go and pick your own booger you yeah know what I'm saying? Well, i don't do that you know what i'm saying because i'm you know what i'm saying <laughs> you heard i don't do that shit but, it's grown out here man yeah grown out here I don't, i'm no uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i i think that's that's why like um you're saying somebody that's a hundred percent completely dependent anything yeah. that they need you have to supply it yeah yeah, that's yeah, wild. It's, it's, it's wild. And it's like... Uh, that's a different way of thinking now. Right. That's what I was just yeah. about to say. My whole way of thinking in certain things is is a little different because I have to include her. Um, and then also have to include my wife. And, yeah. And, um, you know, when I make certain decisions or if I got, got to do something or financially or anything like that, blah, blah, blah. You know, I got to keep these people in mind now. Yeah, and, more than um, yeah. And, and the and decisions that I make in the world, I got to keep these people in mind because I'm responsible. Yeah, you know what I'm saying for, um, you know their their well being to yeah. to an extent or whatever. But you know, uh, it's 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 rough. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's hard. It's not easy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But it's re- it's rewarding. 
Yeah. You know, when you see her and you look at her, um, you know, she gives you a little smile or even when she's crying or something like that and you pick her up and then eventually she calmed down. It's like, damn, like, yeah, I, I, I did that for her. You know what I'm saying? I like somebody that, yeah. was like, you know, I, I needed you and, you, you know, you yeah. made me feel like, you know, it's it's, wow. it's, a, it's a weird feeling. I can ramble on and on or whatever, but like it's a uh, it's a beautiful feeling, beautiful feeling. But um, it's not it's not easy. So, I, you know, I. A salute to all the dads and moms out there and single dads and single moms. I don't know how y'all do it, but God bless y'all, man. Y'all are strong. Um, because uh it's it's not easy, but it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing and it's a blessing to um to you know, to have somebody like of your own like that and yeah. your own kid because uh it's it's really it's literally like a miracle, yo. Like it, it, it wasn't easy. It wasn't like, all right, yo, Friday night we was wilding, and you know what I mean. My John got pregnant. It, yeah. it was like, you know, I right, we had to, we had to like work at it, and yeah. sometimes it was you thought, yeah, all right, we got it this time, and hmm. it wasn't, and then you got to deal with that heartbreak. Then you got to deal with like your shorty's mental. Yeah. But then you got to think of it, you know, well, so you got to yeah. it because you want something so bad, especially if you're planning it. You know, yeah. I'm talking about that planning aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? Some people take up to a couple years. Some people get it right the first time. But yeah. the people that's in between, they going to feel me and know like, yo, it was it wasn't wow. easy. You know what I'm saying? Um, So for her to be here and everything like that, it's just you just feel with joy. But you don't get no sleep. I don't sleep. <laughs> I don't sleep. I don't know what that is. All right? All you rappers and producers and all that shit, fuck with me. Have a kid and do that shit. Nigga. All right? I don't sleep. Help me. <laughs> Yo, no, that's beautiful. How was your yeah. first, how was your first father? We took off last week because right. last week was Father's Day. How was yeah. your first Father's yeah, shout Day? Shout out to all the fathers. Um, yeah, big you know, time. Because we only going to get that one day. Then after that, it's just, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but um, it was a weird feeling uh, because I wasn't used to it. I'm not used to having a specific day besides your birthday to yeah. yourself like that. Like a you day for saying? yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? And people giving you um, attention for it and, you know, mm. cards and stuff like that and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, and like I said, it's still fresh. So it's still kind of like weird. But yeah, I mean, it felt, it was cool. You know what I'm saying? It was good. We had a big, you know, barbecue, like not a big barbecue, but we did a barbecue and uh everything yeah. like that you know media family came over and um just hung out had some drinks and fire chilled and then she cried and then it was like <laughs> that was it and time for y'all to go because <laughs> she is the boss <laughs> yeah yeah that, that's that's why you guys are here yeah at the end of the day she's she's what made you yeah. made you a father so yeah 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 she yeah. sets the rules yeah for sure that's dope what'd for you do for uh, <laughs> what'd you do for father's day i uh i went and visited my dad Went cool. to his house, just spent the day with him. We had lunch and dinner together. Nice. Yeah, that no, was nice. Yeah. Just called him up on everything I've been doing. He's called cool. me up on everything. What, what does he do? Yeah. He's, uh, he works at a printing press. Okay. So he just like runs the big fucking press that makes like newspapers and magazines and okay. shit. Cool. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, we just spent some time together, which was good because he just, he's been having like a bunch of problems with his knees and joints and shit mm. like that. So he's been in and out of work. Okay. Um, but it was it was nice. I could see that, like, I mean, because of Corona and everything too. But like, my parents are older and their health isn't the best, so they've got to be careful with like going out. They're vaccinated yeah. now, yeah. but like, still, that like, you could tell that they haven't been doing much, and like, it's it's just good to talk to them because they need like something variety. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Because yeah. like, because all of us except for my younger sister, we've all like all my siblings have moved out. Mm. Um, so it's just them and my little sister at the home. So like anytime we come to visit, I can tell it like kind of just like brightens their yeah. day because like yeah. they just that don't really have a lot going on anymore. So it was, it was nice to see them because with with everything we're up to too, like I don't see them nearly as much as I would yeah. like to or I used to, He's especially when man. I lived with mm -hmm. them. You know what I mean? When I lived with them, I see them every day. Even if I'm not spending time with them, I would see them every day. But yeah. now yeah. I've moved out and working all the time. It's just like I make time for them. I try to see yeah. them at least once a week if I can. Yeah. Um. But it's just, yeah. No, it was, it was nice to spend time with him, though. Good. It was, it was good. good. Is he, like, real supportive of what you do? Yeah. yeah That's it, awesome. That's yeah, awesome. It, it, took, yeah. it took a long time to get here. <laughs> Word. It took a long But I think, I think it was because my dad's actually an artist. Okay. Like, he works at a printing press. But yeah. When he was, like, my age, he went to college for painting. Um, and he's, like, really fucking talented, bro. Mm. Like, he's, like, mm. a great artist. 
But I think because he understands art, he was scared for me to be yeah. an artist because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. he knows what that takes, takes and yeah. what what tolls it takes on you and what mm-hmm. oppor- or not even opportunities, but what it takes away from you and everything. So I think he kind of was wary when I was growing up of me being an artist and yeah. almost he's, he would support it, but didn't want to because he was scared that like I might really fully do this. And now I'm fully doing this. And I think now since I'm an adult and he sees I'm committed and I've been doing it for like 10 years. Yeah. yeah. Now he's supportive because he's like, all right, he's he's about it. Like, yeah. He's, he's going to yeah. do it. He had to see the process and like, you know, what I'm saying you actually doing it right. and something's coming from it. Right. You know exactly. Saying? So it probably made him more at ease. Right, I can understand that definitely, because yeah. it's like, it's like being a parent. It's like all, all you want is for your child to be happy, to succeed. Mm-hmm. But you know more than anything to be happy. And as an artist, you know that there's a lot of <laughs> right unhappiness. Right, right. <laughs> there's yeah. a lot of disappointment, and yeah. like a lot of artists when they step into the field and into you know whatever you know genre of art that they do, they don't realize that like the the insecurity and the heartbreak and the disappointment are like so part of it right exactly <laughs> like it's exactly a, it's, it's an unavoidable it's kind of what you know what I'm saying? fuels part. the art that you're making yeah yeah like yeah it's, it's the inspiration behind a lot it, of things and you know it's, it's not always on display so people mm-hmm. don't get to see that part you know behind right. the curtain yeah um to really understand that but yeah that that's a big part of that's it. A, that's <laughs> yeah. a big part and so for your dad it's like you know it, if, if for him not knowing how committed you are to it, right? Him just seeing you like loving it and wanting to wanting to pursue it just because you love it, but like, he's like, yeah, no, loving it is great and it's fun, right. but like, there's all the other stuff that you don't know about. Yeah. So yeah. I yeah. think you that know, he him already knew that right. he already yeah. Mm-hmm. So right. and that's why that's why I never even understood his position as a child mm-hmm. or yeah. like growing yeah. up. I was just like, well, how come he doesn't fucking get it? Right. He's yeah. an artist. He, right. should he should understand. Exactly. Yeah. But now that I'm older and I actually am doing this, now I have yeah. a lot of respect for him actually, yeah. and I've yeah. gained a lot of like his insight. I'm like, oh, that's why he did this or said that's this. A, or, that's a big thing with just not to cut you off, with parenting in general. Like, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, they, like my mother, like, uh, growing up, I I literally did the opposite of what she said. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, I took the hardest role Mm. all the time and she would get so mad because she knows that because she, she, she did it all. She seen it all. Yeah. And she was like yeah. trying to tell you from experience. And at from that, experience. And in that exactly. moment, you're like, man, I'm lit out exactly. here, man. I'm trying to go party. I'm trying to go do this, blah, blah, blah. She was telling me from the jump, hey, if you're not going to go to college, you need to work and you should start yeah. working here and you should start setting this up, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, man, I'm out here. Fast forward later, I'm like, bro, she gave me the blueprint. Yeah. I just fucking listen. Yeah. She gave me the blueprint and I could have been, you know what I'm saying? Boom, 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 yeah. and she, you know yep. what I mean? And, she laugh and joke with me and make fun of me now, but you know, yeah. I, 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 mean, I got to where I needed to be, yeah. but I just, instead of taking the straight road that she was pointing to, I took the other way, went through the bushes, climbed down the mountain and yeah, yeah, yeah. swam up the river and came up and I was like, oh damn, it was a straight road down there? Why ain't nobody that's, tell me that? That's the road that mom was saying. She was telling me to... I didn't know that shit was paved, bro. It was paved, bro. I could have walked. You mean I could have walked it? Yeah. That's so. wild. Yeah, man. They be knowing, man. Yeah. They be trying to tell yeah. us. No, it's, and it's like you said, it's like everything in parenting, though. Because there, there's so many things that I now think about that I just ignored or was like, no, nah, exactly. they don't know. It's different now. Exactly. I'm, I'm young in the 2000s. They were young in the 70s. It's exactly. different now. So, like, what they learned isn't going to apply to me now. Yeah. And here I am. I'm like, oh, yeah, no. Nah. Yeah. They, were, they knew. It applies. They were, they were right. Yeah. 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 It applies. But you got to have those experiences, man. Them shits, they make you who you are. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I don't regret it. I don't regret taking right. that road because it made me to what I am today. Um, but like, I wish I'd have took a little part of the road. Because <laughs> 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 shit would have been a little different. You know what I'm saying? I might have had a little yeah. more. You know what I'm saying? But, no, that's, that's great. I mean, the you know, what excites me about, you know, whenever it's whenever it's my turn to be a father is like being able to apply all the stuff that that yeah. i learned and all the mistakes oh, that she i gonna made be a beast, yo, my daughter, yeah oh my God, well because like also you like you understand why you didn't <laughs> listen to your mom in certain ways yeah. and and why like the way that she communicated it to you didn't yeah. work out so and now i could you try could, to communicate it to her yeah not you know what i'm saying not not like my mom was bad at communicating yeah, nah. it you know what i'm saying it, it just you you know I, I know my mistakes yeah you know what i'm saying and yeah. i know where I didn't listen what she was saying, so try to apply it to her a different way to like let her digest it yeah. better than I did. 
I mean, of course, all kids is going to be rebels to a certain extent, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, um, you know, try you. But, you know, you got to, you got to, that's the part of parenting. and you got to figure it out how to like, uh, you know, get them to digest what you're yeah. saying in a way that it's not like coming off too brash to them to yeah. not accept it. You know what I'm well, saying? And I think a lot of times with kids is that kids feel like you're talking to them like they're dumb. Yeah. And it's like, they don't understand that they're dumb. You know what I'm saying? Because right. they actually are. Like, well, you we just, just don't know we anything. Just had yet. a don't discussion know. literally yeah. this year. It's taken me 23 years to get to the point where I know that I don't know anything. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. cause when I was when I was 18, I was like, oh, I was dumb when I was 16, but I got this shit figured out now. Yeah. Then I turned 21, and I was like, nah, I was an idiot when I was 18, but now I know how shit works. Yeah. Now I'm 23, and I'm like, I don't know shit. Yeah. But I think that's the most no, I've yeah. known now. Yeah, but you still don't. Yeah. You Not until you still, still don't. don't. Well, no, that's what took, I'm saying, but I know that I don't still, know shit. I still, I'm still, I still learn shit every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, and, exactly. And it, it, but each, each gap, of the, like you did the gap to 18 right. and blah, 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 blah. Each gap, you just pick up more and more and more. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? And you, and, and it's just, you're retaining all that knowledge and it just molds you. You just can't constantly molding yourself. Even when older people, you know what I'm saying? They still gaining knowledge. Rich Rich people or like uh, businessmen or stuff like that, they still trying to gain they knowledge to like, try to. That they read edge. every day, like r like old successful rich. They read every day. They're yeah. constantly learning, and that's and that, like we talked about this on the pod before, because that's like what I always stress to like stress to young kids when I you know when I talk to them because mm -hmm. I realized like with my little sister that was like a point of uh, tension that we always had is because like growing up I would try to like give her game and she always thought i was like talking down to her and mm -hmm. talking like she was dumb mm -hmm. and it's like yeah no I've, I've just like i've played the game before like i've just taken more trips around the sun like mm -hmm. i you know what i'm saying i right. know how that some specific things works and right. like because i already did seventh grade mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like yeah. i could i can kind of tell you the ropes and it's like just tr trying to um yeah finding the ways to communicate where yeah it's like bro i i i respect you I think you're smart, everything. Mm -hmm. There's just things that I know that you don't know yet because I didn't know them. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to give you that's the game. That's the hard part, trying to yeah. navigate that conversation with them. And that's, you know and that's without, the hard part, yeah. Without, like... Uh, Coming off belittling or kind of sending anything. Yeah. Exactly. You know, um, I got my, my younger brother here. What up, Ant? You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I try to have conversations with him and, and, and talk to him and not, like, be in a way where, like, I'm talking down to yeah. him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just to give him like some gain. And I think he listens and I think, you know, he t it might come off like I'm like making fun of him. Yeah. But like I'm trying to do it in a way to like, you know, I'm, I'm messing with you, but take what I'm saying. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, you know. A, it's a weird way to try to navigate navigate yeah. that conversation yeah. and not, like you said, not come off like you're trying to talk down to him. Yeah. Or like that. But I've been through that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want you to. What, what, what the fuck, Jay Z said? Jay Z said something. Um, Hove so did that, got, so you wouldn't have to go through that. that. Yeah. yeah. Boy, I've been trying to say that all the time, <laughs> no bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that shit is so true. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's all it is. I'm just trying to. I'm being overprotective because I'm trying to protect you yeah. from. I don't want you to have to deal with. No, Cause, like, cause even though I, you're going to yeah. have to learn how to fall and get yourself yeah, up. But I want you to. That's the best teacher. Cut down. Half of them falls that you're gonna be because I fell all them times to let you know, hey man, it's a it's a yeah. rock right there. There's there's a saying that some you know like um smart people learn from their mistakes, wise people learn from other people's mistakes. Mm -hmm. mm. Something like mm -hmm. that. It's like mm -hmm. really being able to true. grasp something without having to experience it yourself. Cause yeah. that's that's like the ultimate teacher. And that's like a lot of in this um you know, in this anti-racist space, you know, trying to teach people certain things, it's it's really hard for people to understand something, to feel something that they that they haven't gone through. No, yeah, yeah that's, you know I mean? oh my god, man, I hate the I try those, I try to have those conversations and I get frustrated and it's like I can't get frustrated because it has to be a teaching moment. This has to be the opportunity yeah. to teach people <laughs> because we want to have that dialogue, but it's so frustrating sometimes when people just you don't experience things. So you can't really get it. You can't really get it. You can't explain it without you getting that passion inside of you to be like, fuck. Well, you that's, know, that's, like, that's, what, that's what I explain to like white people as a white person, bro. Mm, like yeah. that some people just don't grasp for some reason, bro. Like they'll try to tell me about 
like a black person's experience and i'm like bro you're white though yeah. <laughs> like what would you know yeah. like they'll like, be critical what would you know? they'll be like, like yeah yeah like yeah. say say we bring up racism say like mm. racism comes up in a conversation i'll just be like well i mean it's still well bro i hate this but i do hear it all the time yeah. so i'll fucking say yeah. it but like when people are just like yeah but it's not like it was in the 60s or 50s and it's just like that's that's not the fucking point that's not the it point. still exists it still fucking exists, exists. Yeah. just because it's, it's a different like, it's it's in a different like, light like no like, black person who experience like no just any marginalized person is going to be like oh well it's it's not as bad as it was in the 60s. Like, that doesn't change the fact that you're being oppressed. Right, right, <laughs> yeah. exactly, you know I mean? exactly. No. Today. But but yeah. that's the thing, too. They'll, they'll try to tell me what it is like today. And it's like, yeah. bro, you're white, though. What yeah. do you yeah. know what it's what like? Are, what are you Just saying? because I'm not yeah. walking around here with shackles on doesn't mean, like, everything is peachy keen. Right, you know yeah, right. Like, no, I say it all the time. Like, just because just because you don't hear people shout the N-word every time they see a black doesn't, person doesn't, doesn't mean racism. Exists. Like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because Some of them are still probably thinking it. Yeah. yeah, you know what no, I mean. No, but exactly, Dude, it's thing. just it's just like, not socially acceptable right. anymore for no. people to shout it's the N word. It's just in new you know ways. It's in laws they try to create. Right. It's in, in bro. It's this in business practices. This, these in, like voter suppression legislation that's like all over the country right now. Yeah. When you just look at who is targeting and who those laws have always targeted, it's like, bro, this is so clearly racist. Yeah. Why do we even have to have a conversation about it? Yeah. It, Why right. do I have to try to no. convince anybody? Right. Because the law, I, I try to say this all the time. You know what I'm saying? Certain things in this country, which which I love, I'm not against my country yeah, or anything like that. I was born here, raised, everything like that. It's just as much as mine and my ancestors as it is yours and anybody else's that put oh, in work to make, that, that, part. Put, that put this work in to make this country to what it is. But certain things were put in place and built and, and, and made w not with black people in mind. No, you know what I'm saying? No, in, in, in mind to oppress. Legislation, yeah. uh, uh, um, you know. A lot of different just, institutions. Just law sure. practice in general. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't with black people in mind to be um, in a place of equal. Uh, equal or power or anything like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? So you, you got to think, think about that when they write some of these, you know, things out. It's, it's to benefit them. Who, it's not yeah, who's in the favor benefiting? of... Yeah people that look like me or, you know, minorities or anything like that, you know? So, or even people that they, you know, it's white people that don't like right. other white people because they're not their type of white people. We, yeah. we talked about that and a bit yesterday, too. Us. Yeah, we talked yeah, about we that. Yeah, we talking you know, about that. Just yeah. how, like, people, like, poor white people think, like, this fight against white supremacy affects them ne negatively. It's mm -hmm. like, no, this whole, all this, all this you know, white nationalism and white supremacy, all, it's all a power structure so that the people on top can mm. stay with the power and the money. Yeah. And um, like slavery, like it's not like they're like, you know, those people have more melanin so they should be slaves. It's, it was all for profit. Mm. Like nobody cared that, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. These people were, had more melanin or, you know, these people, whatever. It's just, yeah. they needed to justify like how they could get maximize their profits yeah. and you maximize your profits by yeah. paying that's why we're trying to make robots right now so that we don't have to pay for the labor mm -hmm. so they justified it by saying black people weren't human because you know there was slavery prior to you know to the trans you know um transatlantic slave trade but mm -hmm. um you know after columbus and all that there was slavery before that but it was always you know typically one like after a battle mm -hmm. and they would take the losers, losers. and then right. you know and exactly. enslave them mm -hmm. you know but this was from Somebody Africa, this was, was the a first time. And yeah, saw a business opportunity and said, "Hey, those people, I got to them first. Yeah, those people are subhuman. Mm -hmm. It's okay to enslave them. Yeah. That's how they. That's yeah. how they. They normalize and rationalize it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying to to the people, and that's that's the structure that like built this country. But that's what I was gonna say. That's what I'm saying. That's the structure. That's that's the foundation, and they build on top of that. And they generation built. to generation in different ways. And, and so the it's people still that slavery, built it. Yeah. but it's just a different form yeah. in a different way. And just because and people just be so basic and so dumb and say, well, y'all not it's not like, you know, back in blah blah blah. So it's not the same. No, it's a different form. Yo, look at it's, it's, look at employment the, rates, look at the the um what's the first I'm not to cut you off. Yeah. What's the first version of this computer, right? That <laughs> that was slavery. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Then they made the 2.0. Then they made the 2.3. Then right, they made the 4. Word, it's word. just a new version yeah. of that. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? In a different form. Now the, I mean the the industrial prison complex. You know yeah. how they right. how they the profit. 12th off. Amendment, bro. Yeah, 13th. 12th, yeah, 13th, 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 13th Amendment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How they you know how they're able to 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 enslave people? Like how, as you said, they they abolished slavery and then a a, a, 
a few years later, sweeping legislation came yeah, through. Jim that, Crow and, and, and yeah. things like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, yeah, they, they and you know, a, after slavery, they made it so that, um, you know, simple offenses like uh, like loitering and all that, you would get sent to prison, and then it was justified that they would um, send you to to, to work. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you know, for yeah, those things. Just, so all of a like, sudden, you know, like right I'm after saying. the slavery ended. That's what I'm saying. All of a sudden, black people just filled up the jails, and yeah. that's that's when they, um, yeah. you know, the yeah, still to this day, it's prevalent. Yeah, you know no, it, and it's and, and so it gotten form. worse. But as you said, it's it's just a different form. But yeah. that's the thing when people say, "Oh, it's so much better today than it was back then." It's like look at these, look at the racial disparities then versus now, and they're mm-hmm. almost identical. Mm-hmm. Like there's so many things yeah. you look at, like the 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 wealth gap mm. you know and the, it's no better than it was 60 mm. years ago like Bro, you know it's, it's super deep yo it's deep i don't know who i don't know i don't know what higher ups did this shit but they did it not not to give them credit but yeah, they, they did, did it, it perfectly they did it perfect and they were yeah, smart they did man, it very well because it's been going and it's been passed down generation to generation and they've been keeping up with it yeah. you know what i'm saying and, and they've yeah. been keeping up with it yeah, yeah they've been real yeah. innovative about real, it and super innovative yeah. and like but, but the fact that they can get actual decent people to like go along with what like voter suppression and like these things that so yo. clearly like yeah. cattle you that's know what i'm all, saying that's, that's, yeah. that's all it is it's just herds of yeah. cattle you know what I'm saying? And then just following bullshit that they've been taught that they think like that this is the way and it's and it's not. You don't yeah. have to think like that. You can think for yourself. You can yeah. actually do some research <laughs> and find information <laughs> on the internet <laughs> and educate yourself <laughs> on topics. Yo, and then also, but like <laughs> But also just be like the camera on <laughs> <you>. <laughs> please, please. Oh. But also it's like do the research, but also be an empathetic human being. When right. people are saying stuff, God. listen to them. You know what I'm saying? When people are telling you their life experiences, listen to them. Especially yeah, stop trying to when rebuttal. So just because, yeah, stop just, listening just so you can you react. Can yes. So you can rebuttal. You're not even hearing what exactly. I'm saying to you. The information that yeah. is correct. Yeah. Majority of the time, I'm not saying I'm perfect or anybody's perfect, but if I'm coming to you, but if you're speaking from lived experience, that shit is correct 100 percent of the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and like we talk about this, like being black in America so much is about going through experiences that people tell you you're not going through. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, that's like you've seen. I was it. gonna say I've yeah. seen it just just He's from now seen all it. the time I spend with Scott. Yeah. Like I literally see it and. I haven't my entire life, you know what I mean? Until me and Scott spent a lot of yeah. time together yeah. now, and now I see it all yeah. the time, and it it pisses me off so fucking much because, yeah. bro, like, because you probably was around it and you didn't even know, yeah. and you just walking, yeah. you know, not like lack of a better word, like zombie yeah. walking through it, and then somebody snapped their fingers, and you're like, oh, and yeah. you're like, oh, I can see all. Yeah, this. no, that's exactly this what shit it's is like, going bro. on. You don't see this. Like, yeah, bro. that's exactly and what we it's over like here like, now. yeah, yeah, we've been saying hey, this, man, like, you know what I'm saying? That's how it is, I yeah. guess, you know? Yeah. No, and it's just so fucking frustrating, bro. Like, so, fr- and obviously yeah. I'm preaching to the fucking choir right now. You guys are yeah. sitting here just like, Steve, just learned nah. a fucking yeah. week ago, bro. No, no, no. No, but, not like no, but that's important perspective, yeah. though, because, like, yeah. that's. But that's that's and that's why I'm like patient with it because I understand that people can't know something that they don't experience. Right. I'm just trying to get people to understand that yo, you don't know it because you don't experience right. it, and stop forcing me to explain it all the fucking time. Right. <laughs> and stop <laughs> trying to and try, like, stop trying to force me to explain it, and then with the eye like I don't, I don't know. But you're not even listening, yeah. bro. Come, yeah. Yo, listen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. That's like, that's what kills my soul. It's don't like, have listen, me explain I'm it. I'm gonna relive my trauma. I'm yeah. gonna open up to you. Yeah, for you to say. I don't know about that. I don't, it's more like this. And it's just like, that's what I was talking about, that frustration. When you yeah, like, bro. Yeah. No, when you said that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know exactly. I know exactly what you mean, yeah. bro. But it's, the, but it's good that you, you, you get to have that, that experience and understand that because it's like you take that information and you have that understanding. You not, And now you grow up and you have kids yeah. and they they get that understanding from you and they get that point of view or you talk to your sister or you or whoever, blah, blah, blah. And they start to see it. It, it builds. It's, right. it's like, you know, it's like a germ and it spreads. Yeah. Like yeah. that's that's what we need. We need people to get the knowledge and the understanding so we can defeat this shit, defeat this shit within. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And with help. We can't do it all by ourselves. Right. You know what I'm saying? Minorities. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We need people of 
of different races to help fight this shit together so we can, because it's strength in numbers and we abolish this shit all together because we, we are humans. We all bleed humans, the same. Yeah. Yeah. We all, you know what I'm saying? Yes, God made us different colors and shit like that, but that don't mean like you, I'm, you're more important and I'm right. more important than you or anything like that. It should yeah. be just off of kindness, respect, and, um, you know, just, love, man. Just, just love. love. You know what I'm saying? Just, love. just, just straight up love. Because I don't have an issue with anybody unless they have an issue with me. And even if they got an issue with me, if it don't come to physical harm, we yeah. still might be able to get past it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Words is words. You know, yeah. uh, you know, whatever. I like the Lakers. You like the Knicks. We won. Whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it yeah. don't matter. We can get past that shit. As long as it's not nothing physical, because it's not that serious. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it shouldn't even be. It shouldn't even be to that point that. You shouldn't like somebody that you don't even know just off of how they look. That shit is so crazy yeah. to me. Or, or yeah. You or know what like I mean? It's so many people that judge me. I'm a, I'm a skinny black kid. I dress a certain way. I got tattoos. And you know what I'm saying? They probably look at me and be like, I don't, don't want to talk to that kid. And then, you know, they have a conversation and I'm like, yep. they fucking love me because yeah. I'm a fucking nice person, bro. Yeah, yeah. If you would just chill out and, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and talk to somebody and not yeah. being so guarded and, and judgmental and thinking like, you know, this person is perceived to be this way. That's what he is. Yeah. Have a conversation. Talk to somebody. Put yourself I around that. I go, out my way to, I go out my way to be nice to people, yo. Yeah. And it's, it, it sucks in a sense because that's, that's another I should part just of being be, black in America. Right. I have having to, be, to do the most to make to other people feel overly comfortable. Overly nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Overly nice just to make people feel comfortable. comfortable. And it, pisses, it don't piss me off because I'm a nice person. But it, it pisses me yeah. off to think to know that I have to be more than nice than I don't know how, I can't say how nice you are, but just for the example that right. then you are. Right. You know what I'm saying? When you come to a place or step into a building and somebody says something to you. Yeah. You know what it's, I mean? Like, it's just, it's exhausting. Cause like when it's you, exhausting. That's the yeah. Point. Cause like, you know, no matter what kind of day you're having, no matter what you're going through, you have to put on that face and you have to put on that voice. Right. Cause if you don't, <laughs> you the angry black dude or whatever. I don't even know how we got to this point. We was talking about <laughs> Father's Day. <laughs> we got here cause that's how nice we are. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yo, we're we're talking um we're talking yesterday because I had a couple events yesterday. I had two fundraisers, one for one for my campaign and the other one for uh for Norwest Cap. We're raising money. It was the first um the first event, public event that they're able to do um to fundraise. And as you know, as a non profit organization, Dope. you know, that's really important. So yeah. shout um, out Norwest Cap. Yeah, yeah big sure. shout out to Norwest Cap. Um great event yesterday. But yeah, we we got to talking um at some point yesterday, just about like how every day when I go to to pay for food or when I when I go to just you know buy supplies or whatever, I'm paying with these pieces of paper that have these men on it that would have enslaved me mm -hmm. had I been around 200 years ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like we can we can acknowledge the fact that you know. George Washington and Ben Franklin, like these guys were brave, courageous, smart people, but they were also fundamentally racist. Mm -hmm. Every day they had black people that look like me, mm -hmm. that look like you, you know, they had black people that were forced to, to, to work for them. And if they didn't, they would torture them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They would rape their wives, mm -hmm. they would take their kids from them, mm -hmm. they would torture them. Mm -hmm. That's that's on the money that we Bro, it's like I said, there's literal psychopaths. Like we have just how could fucking you do psychopaths that? on our money. Like how could you no do that and be like a a regular minded human being? Like I don't care what time it period it was, the way I phrased it last night mm -hmm. was like even if it was three hundred years ago, four hundred years ago, right? You still can't tell me just because you've got more melanin that I even 400 years ago, wouldn't be able to identify you as a human being. It's not mm -hmm. like you look like a different type of species. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's they're, not like, they're having sex right, with them. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. They're having you know sex I mean? with them. Yeah. So you, they know you're human. So you literally mm -hmm. got to be a twisted ass psychopath like to be pulling that type of shit and promoting it and saying this is lifestyle. This is America. This is what yeah. this stands for. You know what I mean? Like it, it goes beyond just like hatred or what or ignorance. Like Like you're a literal fucking psychopath. And these are the people that are... Well, I think it's shit. I think it's two things, two 
two things. One, they'll definitely most of the time in that argument they'll say, "Well, that's just how it was in that time." Yeah, there was a bunch of psychopaths back then. It was normal. Then. It was just normal in that time, and blah blah blah. That's bullshit. Yeah, I don't buy you know that, what I'm bro. And and two, uh, just because it's normal doesn't mean it's cool. And and also slavery though, was normal yeah, no. in but this country like, yeah. for hundreds you of years. You would have to argue for that to even like be valid you have to argue that compassion wasn't around until after slavery mm-hmm. you know what i mean you would literally have to argue you that. have right yeah like yeah. and, they, and you can't argue that because you know like mean? the first the first sign sign of like human advancement like where humans were really humans what humans are bro is like the first fixed injury you know what i mean because mm. in nature someone gets injured in your pack you go on without them their food bro mm. that that's yeah. they get caught up mm. the first time we stopped and healed another person's injury that's the first sign of real humanity yeah yeah, yeah. Word. Wow. Shit, I ain't never Because that's what that. separates yeah. us from the animals. You yeah. know what I mean? Right. Other than like sentience and shit. But right. like, yeah. Like, because like, they can't they can't help you. They, they'll just right. circle around like, hey, man, I know you're hurting, but I can't I can't do nothing for you. Us, yeah. we, you know. The threat's still person. coming. You got yeah. injured. Like, yeah. we got to go on. We got to go on. Yeah. We will, but we'll go back and help you. And, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's compassion. And yeah, you're right. You're right. But a lot of that wasn't. A lot of that was missing back yeah. then. I mean, it was some. It was some people that tried to help. Yeah, I mean, right. th- I mean, the um, thing is, all through all through like the eighteen hundreds, there were white abolitionists. Mm-hmm. A lot of white people didn't want slavery. They, yeah. A lot of people fought and died of war. You yeah. know what I'm saying? To yeah. to to help eliminate it. Um, right. I mean, a lot of them. It wasn't even for. Anyways, um, but like, yeah, ce- it, it it these guys are celebrated. What was that? Still, no. You were talking about the money. I'm just saying, like, they they are still celebrated in a, in a way they're I mean, recognized they're they're, you know they're so like it's not even like they're they're just heroes yeah. they're heroes and like I, again we we can acknowledge all the um the good that they did do we can acknowledge all the but impressive things ignore. that they did you can't ignore but you can't like e- even when you think about it right because it was millions and millions and millions of black people that were here do you know the name of any slaves or any enslaved people I don't like calling them slaves because that reduces them to not human. Mm. Um, do you know any names of any enslaved people that were here in this country? Of the millions that were here? But you know all the, all the you know, white people that had slaves that helped you know, that's pass too, laws. And, that's too, you know what I'm saying? That's too deep to teach kids in school. Because, because once you make them people... They have to realize, they have to face their... Uh, I can't think of the word, but they will have to face that shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And no, then they have to like, explain it to a kid that don't know nothing about no race. They just see, you know what I'm saying, Steve, when you you and you and Scott were in school or something like little kids, and you just see, that's my friend. They don't, right. You don't see, that's my white friend. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's just your friend. So mm-hmm. now you got to sit there and explain this to a kid who don't understand, well, why would y'all do that? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What, what, but I'm friends with Scott, and he's black, and why did y'all do that? Well, because you, you know what, you know what it does? It, that's too deep. For, that's too heavy for them to, you know what I'm saying? Well, like too I heavy. Tell, no, who's it too heavy for? For the, for the teachers and, or the, uh, the academic people to want to put that, teach that and have to explain that yeah, shit. Yeah, well, I mean, I yeah, like, yeah, no, I, I think w- what it is, is that would, you would have to take these people off the pedestals. Right. Well, you, yeah, that too. You know they what I'm saying? They don't want to do that. That's too, that's George too. Washington, I could never tell a lie. Or the first great general of America, our first president. Had hundreds of slaves. Man, yeah, listen, no, listen, it's got to be more. It's got to be <laughs> more like, I mean? like if I was a teacher, you know what I'm saying, and I yeah. couldn't be a teacher because I wouldn't teach what they would want me to teach, probably. But like, if I had to teach that, like I would have, like if you're a teacher, your job is to teach. You know what to I mean? Teach. Like you want Take the your future. You want a the future teacher, to be right. You're not gonna hold back. Exactly. Yeah, so tell like, the whole story. so if that's what you want to do and that's what you feel you're calling in life is, then you shouldn't have a problem explaining to kids. There used to be a lot of fucked up people that were in power, and it mm-hmm. wasn't a good thing. Mm-hmm. We're trying to right. change we're that. Trying right. to change we're trying to change that. that. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm not saying I'm not they saying they built the country. Cause that's, cause that's the also rules, an argument. all the rules that we follow, were built by people that that didn't look at me as people. Right. We're three fifths of a person. And that's what I'm saying. And all this shit was made what what not us intended to yeah, be to more than what they thought we were. Then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're subhuman. And some of these laws and some of these things that was created back then are still present today with that mind state. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that needs because to change. Because who, who makes the laws? Like, it was those people yeah. that had slaves mm-hmm. and that felt mm-hmm. this about mm-hmm. black people and brown people and mm-hmm. Asians and all that. And they made laws and mm-hmm. they had kids mm-hmm. and, and then, then the they made laws and yeah. then those, you know what I'm saying? It's right. like, it's, it's not like the racist it's people it's all it. died and then all of a sudden new laws are made. Right. It's all no, the same ones. They, right. And then also, if you're, if you're within that lineage and you're the one 
ones that's responsible for it, you're not going to break with tradition. No. You know what I mean? No. Yeah. No. And, like, and then, like, no. In, a, in a weird sense. No, like, word. And then, no, and then media right. and, and, and how media has been used to, mm-hmm. to justify all of these racist things. So mm-hmm. now you have people who don't benefit off of racism but still enforce it. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, like in s- <laughs> where we live at, there's, there's a lot of racist people who don't yes. understand that they lose out because of their of their racist ideas mm. you know what i'm saying mm. they're the the quality of their life the the culture that they don't get exposed to the ignorance oh my that limits god them. yeah you know I mean? bro just just i mean there's a million there's a list like yeah. a list of things you're missing out on but literally like yeah oh, sorry i don't know why i just got so excited when you started listing <laughs> that shit off but i'm just thinking about it because i'm one of the few people that gets mm. out of from where yeah. we're from mm. and like i probably wouldn't even st- fucking be alive anymore bro if i didn't like uh, it's depressing bro mm, like yeah. it's depre- the yeah. lack of life experience you yeah. get yeah in a whitewashed community bro yeah. is like depressing and bro. they stay in wow. there they like that's what yeah they and, and that's know. the thing you they they make it they make it so it's hard to get out or mm. hard to even want to leave mm. you know what i mean like yeah. because if that's all you've ever known mm. and that's all you grow up with and it's the same kids you've known your whole life going to the same bars doing the same thing and like, then they tell you that all the other they stuff tell is you bad. all the other stuff is bad and dangerous and like you're gonna you're, you want to live a week out there yeah. bro here like bro <laughs> i'm living my best life bro i'm popping out to all yeah. the places i was told to never to go yeah, yeah. and yeah. i'm living my best life yeah. all the people that you were told yeah. to, to think but a certain way about you having yeah. those experiences you know what i'm saying yeah. That's what, back to our conversation from earlier you getting in those experiences and you getting to learn things and, you, and it makes you mold and mold you into whatever you're going to be but it's a better it's a more advanced better version of yourself if you stay in yeah. one place and you only get to see certain right. things and only talk to certain people There's no room that to only grow. know limit certain yourself. things you limit yourself of learning we go out and we talk to other people and we we have experiences to learn and open doors in our mind to expand right. Our knowledge of shit. It's like those saying? fish that stay the size relative to their tank. Right. You know what I mean? The bigger Bro. tank they go in, the bigger right. they get. Right. It's the same shit. Right. Exactly. That part. Exactly. That part. That's all we are. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because if I stayed, if I stayed in Newark all my life, I would just know Newark shit. Right. Yeah. Bro. You know same, yeah. Same. I would just yeah. know only, and I've seen it. I got cousins. I got family members. Yeah. I got you know, stuff like that. That that's all they know. That's what's make sense to them that's you know i get made fun of for being in the area mm-hmm. that we are because well i was getting made fun of they don't do that shit now because i'm a real nigga <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh for being in an area that's maybe you know a little safer a little nicer you know the air's a little better mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying there's, like yeah, oh there's, woods around, there's nothing to do there yeah. why why you did blah 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 you know what i'm saying but yo, you but, even get to the like i'm and i'm sorry to cut you yeah. off but you even get to, like and I, I don't know if i talked to you about this but how even like being in the woods and like all that that's like that's like a white thing yeah well mm. that don't make that and that's and that shit, don't like, make any nah, sense let me talk to my black that, uh brothers and sisters that, out there stop saying dumb shit like that like white people yo, on their own trees yo why but why do fucking, they think that but why do we think that why do we think that that's some white shit because we were taught certain stupid it's shit because too. we're redlining to cities Oh well, you know well, what I'm saying, that, and, and then too. we're and then we're fed all this stuff about right. what we are, then what we well, can do, and we you know put, what I'm saying. But d- yes, yes, you're right because, and that's a generational thing. And then instead of our ancestors and certain people not accepting that and not not pushing that to us mm. to to make us think like this is where we're supposed to be, this is all we're going to know, this is all we need, yeah. this blah blah blah. Instead of trying to expand our minds to do more. Uh, um, fuck! I fucking lost my point. But anyway, they, we, we, we on the on the other side of white people, um, you know, teaching their kids certain things to to prolong racism and stuff like mm-hmm. that. The the other side of that is our ancestors and stuff and us, um, assisting that in a different way to prolong us to self. Um, contain ourselves in, in, in those situations. Well, well, you know what it is, bro? It's, it's the same propaganda that has white people thinking a way about us. It's yeah. the same propaganda that has us thinking a way about yeah. us. It's the same thing yeah. that how the, the you know, um, like the war on drugs and, and mm. just like, just how certain propaganda was put out to make it so that we're looked at as criminals mm. and we're lazy mm. and we're all this. Mm. Like, you know, we, we don't speak what, like, 
we think the same things about ourselves. Mm -hmm. They made us it's hate ourselves of, and love they as well. That's why. It's a lot so of self-hate. Show where the ball is at. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's a lot of self-hate you know I mean? in, our, in our community. Yeah. It's a lot of self-hate in our community. And it's, and it's you know what I'm saying? It, and like I said, it was past, it, sometimes it was passed on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From our own people to think like you can't have more than what you have. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's generational and trauma in, yeah. in the black community. Yeah. And, and, and that's, that's and we, But what I'm saying is it wasn't, it was forced upon us, mm -hmm. but we also helped in it too sometimes. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? As in our own people, we like to bring ourselves, like, why can't, well, I when you say, when you say day. when you say things like we help do it and and we like to bring ourselves down, you have to elaborate on All right, that. So, like, yeah. I heard something the other day where um, uh, I forgot where I heard it from, but they were saying like, like when a when a businessman, uh, I forgot who it was, somebody sold something, and he 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 sold it off and made no somebody tried to sell it to him. Uh, sell uh, some type of business. I forgot. And um, he said, no, I don't, I don't want that. Turned down millions of dollars or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And decided to do, so, do something else. Ended up making, and ended up making money later on. But mm. he, did, he, he didn't make it right away. He turned down a big deal to make a bigger deal later on that he got. And he said, well, the black dude did the same thing. Got an, got an offer for something else and uh, turned it down. And all his black people was like, Yo, you stupid! You should have took that money, blah blah blah. You just, you, you know, you 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 always just stand the fifth, blah blah blah. We're all, but they'll tell. But he's he's that black man was make, waiting for the smarter play, just like the white guy turned mm -hmm. down the money, waiting for the smaller play, smarter play to get it later on. You know what I'm saying? But us, we look at the fast money or whatever the case may be, and say, you know, you stupid, this blah blah. blah. We quick to tear ourselves down. But that same businessman, the white man who end up getting money later on. You say, yo, he was smart, yo. You saw he turned that down to yeah. get this bag, blah, blah, blah. We have this thing of like... Well, that's because, again, it's because white people think that we're stupid and not financially literate, mm -hmm. and black people think that we're stupid and not financially literate. But, we, but our problem is we have... It's strength in numbers. Why don't you support that black man? Why don't you support no, of that course. man? I, to, I, to, I'm, to, I'm getting to the... But I'm talking about yeah. the why. Yeah. The, the why is because we've been trained to think mm -hmm. that... We ha it's the scarcity thing. That we're never going to get this again. We have to grab this right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because, but I, go ahead. Yeah. But no, I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is I don't want that to be an excuse. I don't want it to be like, yeah, we were trained that. We know that. We were trained to do a lot of oh, bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, you know what no, I'm saying? Word, don't word, make word. that be the excuse. Yeah, no, not word. saying that's what you're saying. No, but, but yeah. I'm, I'm talking about for all, for all black people, man. Like, support, man. Well, you, if you, that you man have to know where good, it starts from. Yeah. Like, once you know the we root know. of it. I feel like we know, though. No. Uh no, I feel like we should. A lot know of black right people now. don't like, because, because a, a lot of what you're saying, it's it's like, it's and it's it's a hundred percent true. But it's the like people don't black people don't realize that the reason that they tell another black person, "Oh, you're talking white," because they're they just speak, uh, you know, what I'm saying eloquently. Yeah, they don't realize that's because it's been drilled in their yeah, mind yeah. that if that they, makes no sense, you know absolutely no sense. That's a stupid. It, you say something like that to me, you're you're a dumbass, and I don't <laughs> want to talk to you no, anymore we're, because we're, how the fuck do you talk white? <laughs> no, but how? I get told that I talk black. We're, how do you get? To, how exactly, do you talk? You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, no, no, I feel you. That, I feel tell you. them yeah. you're a fucking dumbass <laughs> because <laughs> that don't make no sense. Yeah. What? What? How do? We, but but again, who taught you that? It's it's where who taught who taught him that? But that's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? It, people don't. Nobody's thinking like, oh yeah, like they're saying that. Um, it, you just have to go to the to, to the stem of it. Mm. Why do we think that that black people are are, are not supposed to act or talk certain ways? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's all a thing of like how good you are, how like. Uh, but it goes back to that thing where it's it, it was. It was put into the system from very jump. From from the very, from very and, jump. And it's just, this is what they yeah. all they are. This is how they are. Yeah. This is how they're supposed to be. This is how they're supposed to act. They only sing and dance. They only good yep. for this. Yep. They only only good for entertainment. And we're just reconditioned to think know, that way in different ways. Right. Shut up and, and dribble. Passed you know on. what I'm saying? It passed yeah. On. Yeah. It's just new ways of saying it. It's yeah. not you know whites only. 
it, it was whites only at one point. Then it's shut up and dribble. Shut up and dribble. Have a, it's just different yeah. ways of saying it. Yeah. It's not just so blunt anymore. Now, for a little bit, it got a little blunt because, you know, your boy was out here. <laughs> he was president. He was riling them up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And, you know, even though he don't really fuck with y'all niggas, like, excuse me. Yo. Even though he don't really fuck with y'all like that. He does He used y'all. And he I don't understand y'all. why y'all don't see the play because... He would never, if y'all came to his golf course and you come in there looking like uh, Billy Bob Thornton uh, or, yeah. or whatever, uh, he would never let you in. He wouldn't shake your hand and say, oh, let's go have a beer. And for some reason, y'all think that he's like that. He's not like that. He played he's up Epstein. his Epstein. Yeah. He's like, Ugh, yeah. don't he touch me. He played off his old racist shit. He's, Germs. I, I bet you he's not even that racist, Trump. Probably not. No. Yeah, he's, he's a money guy. If, he, he was, if you got money in your black, guy. I don't think he. Ca- yeah, I don't think he cares. But he just, racism was business. Ra- that's what but I'm saying, bro. Racism was business. That's, it plays hand in hand. Is the same you know what I'm thing. Saying? He was like, I need to get X amount of votes. I can get these people to vote for me by saying this type of stuff. He wasn't lit until something like that happened at one of his rallies, bro. Like, then you, he played it up. You, you think oh. about all the, you know, the, all the stuff that he said about the Mexicans and like all his resorts, and where's that all wall, his properties. Where's that wall at? <laughs> what but happened like, to the wall? No, huh? but, but you you look at all all that he Fuck said about you know yeah. the Mexicans and all that, right? And all all of his all of his properties, the amount of uh, illegal immigrants, you know, that he hired on his property. It's like you know that yeah. he doesn't actually ride for that right. stuff. He doesn't actually care. It's just it's it was no, just it's all once campaign. You see, once you see what works for your campaign and what yeah. the people are, you just dive into yeah. that. But yeah, people, exactly. but that's the, but come on, it's so man. obvious though. Did, it's like just the Google's saying. right there. That's what I always tell people. Google's right there, and then just do put the math together. Your Google's, <laughs> do your Google's, bro. Do do your Google's, bro. <laughs> it's right, it's right there. I don't know, I, I don't know how, man. That's the he was a pimp, yo. Trump was a pimp, you know. Okay, and all you <laughs> motherfuckers that voted for him was his hoes, and he played y'all because a pimp let y'all know, hey, I'm not doing no work. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> You're going to do all the work for me. But guess what? You're going to bring me the money. Agree? Bro, he was... You know and how he much, did that. Yo, he raised... You know the place. Told, he showed you and y'all still did it, bro, ho. He, he ra- <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, he raised millions of dollars for his campaign after he lost. Yeah. yeah. He just got had that? a rally. He just you got had that a rally. Back? Like the other hey, night. Hey, uh, Susie Lynn. <laughs> Joe Bob. Did you get that money back? <laughs> Fucking dumbasses. <laughs> says Susie and listen, I, and I, and listen, Biden ain't no better, but you know, but they all fucked up. But yeah, that was fucked no, up, big time. You know, so I don't think I'm like riding with yeah. Biden. Yeah, well, no could, and that's like that. that that's the automatic all assumption. All these niggas is dirty. Yeah, that's the that's the automatic assumption is that oh, yeah. like you're against but, Trump, but you're for Biden. But bro, but that's yeah. also like the game that they play. Right. They make you pick like a side, or they make people feel like they have to pick a side. So once you say something that's anti-Trump, it's what about the emails? You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like yeah, there's there's always I've noticed that too is like a common theme between anyone talking in politics. Whenever someone like brings up a point to argue whatever you believe, it's always just a rebuttal with, "Well, what about this on your side?" Yeah. Like no yeah, type of no even listening. trying to defend. Like, what no about type the shit we were just to, talking like, about? Yeah. No listening. Yeah. It's just it's a pissing contest no. and everything. Yeah. Like no. yeah, no, and that's stupid. and that's politics, and that's something that like even even in my campaign and you know in Sussex County, it's like they're so on, on every topic. It's they just make it a partisan thing so quickly. They just like. I think we talked, uh, you know, a couple episodes, of, uh, last episode about um, pride, or I don't even know if we talked about this, but it's like they didn't, our commissioners didn't want to recognize June as Pride Month. Mm. It's like they've been doing it for like, like pride, it's been Pride Month for like 40 years or something like that. Um, and they didn't want to. And then like, so one of the commissioners gets up and it's like, shame on the Democrats for trying to like do this, this and that. It's like, you're making this a partisan thing. Mm. You're. Because that's the whole play. That's, right. It's not about the issues. It's, about, it's the about how can I make this a partisan thing to make those people look bad and us look good so that we'll get more votes. How can fucking, how can fucking corn on the cob day <laughs> have a fucking, how, do, how can you celebrate a day about corn, but you can't celebrate about people loving whoever they want to love? Why is that it's such a fucking issue? You know what I'm saying? It's bullshit. It's all They'll find any, any reason, and then it's all like a, it's, it's, it's all bullshit, and it's such like it's always such a predictable deflection. Yeah, it's like bro, just take I, I 
if there's it's not that big of a deal like i said you have parades about fucking corn and stupid shit like that yeah. like, let these people have a parade or have a day to celebrate the things that they love and, and the people yeah. they love and everything like that and the thing too like a lot of people will use like the, the christian values excuse or whatever whatever Man, bullshit listen. they want to right but yeah. but it's america right and it's freedom of religion and also separation yeah. of church and state so if you support patriotism in America, then you should also understand that religion's got nothing to do with this, and your yeah. personal feelings got nothing to do with this. Nothing it's just well, a human and a here? human. You I, feel me? I, I'll, I'll be here three hours talking about religion and how that yeah, shit yeah. is intertwined <laughs> with you. What was used to, was also used to enslave people and everything like that. And this was a Christian people. nation we can even, that enslaved we can millions deep. of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do it though. Yeah, let's not do that. Go, because go, one, because it's Sunday. And, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you said one because it's Sunday. One because it's Sunday. And like, yeah. And, and because we, we don't have enough time to like yeah. really go through that, maybe maybe this time. We should time. start dedicating like episodes to yeah, the specific topics. To that. Like that. Yeah, no, that's, yeah. that's what I'm thinking. Because no, because yeah. that would be good. Because But the reason why I don't want to get into it is because there is, it is so, um, there's a lot to it, it's obviously. It's and, very, uh, you know. Yeah. Like there were Christians that are against that were against it. There are, even today you see a lot of Christians that are very for oppressive things, mm -hmm. and then there are a lot of Christians who are very against those things. So it's and y'all both have under, different understandings of one thing that was written by oh. some person uh -oh. from another person uh -oh. from another person. Uh -oh. Another person, uh -oh. like um, you know the game telephone, uh -oh. and it starts out like, hey, I said um, uh -oh. red, red and green, and then you could tell that person, and then they be like red, green, and oh wait, red, green, blue, and blah blah blah, and then by the time it gets to you, it's pink, and you gonna tell me that I should believe that because we can get deep, man. <laughs> we we can get deep. I I don't want to do that, but you know some of this shit don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if a person can live in a well for more than three days, <laughs> but but it happened and it, and it was written down, so it happened. But I'm supposed to believe that. But you know, racism doesn't exist from a book that was written 500 years ago that somebody said that somebody said that somebody said that it got to you, but it's true. So um so the UFOs y'all was telling me I told y'all they wouldn't I told y'all I told y'all they wouldn't take it there y'all was saying the, the UFOs right they caught the thing yeah the, yeah, yeah. yeah we good. I'm sorry Scott if if the in the comments they gonna be going at me but listen yeah you didn't know this was a Catholic podcast bro <laughs> no no don't bro. at me no I, no because don't, that's because it's it's um the telephone thing is something that I've like that's something I. Like I've I've said before, you know, you look at, and I don't even want to, because the Bible is such a great book. But you look just 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 it's, research it's, the creation of it. Like I don't want to who don't actually wanna, wrote it over yeah, what course of yeah, time, how yeah. long after these stories that happened were yeah. these things actually Let's put be in the real. book. Just just look at all that stuff. The Do the research. Stuff. And I'm not yeah. and I'm, I'm not saying I don't believe in God and I don't believe. Yeah. In I just don't believe how it was put together and presented. I I have faith. I believe there's a higher power. I just don't believe how. I don't believe how it, it happened, how you trying to tell me or whoever trying to tell me how it happened. And you don't believe in the feed me, in the blind hair, blue eye Jesus. That, it don't even say that in there. <laughs> it don't even say that he's like that in there. But the pictures say that's what I'm saying to y'all. The, the the book that y'all trying to tell me, he don't look like that in the book. Yeah, in the but book. the pictures y'all show me on these places. Yeah. He looked different. It was like when you read a really good book and then they announced they're making a movie for it and you see the trailer and none of the characters look yeah. anything like you were expecting them to. And you're like, what the fuck are they doing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But nobody had that what the fuck are they doing. Yeah, moment. exactly. No. Everyone's like, yo, nope, no, this no, seems no, valid. This, seems, this is the guy that, this, this, that does miracles, right? He's yeah. the white guy no, he with ha the blue yeah, eyes. He has All right, to be. Yeah. yeah. No, he's this great person who does great things and everybody looks up to him. He has to be. A pale white dude. Do y'all title these things? <laughs> title this "Do Your Googles." Do your Googles. Do your Googles. This is a yeah. theme yeah. here. Episode yeah. twenty-one. Do yeah. your Googles. And then, yo, and and just to again, you know, restate this: it's not a shot at religion. It's no, not a shot at Christianity. No, it's not, you know no, what I'm saying? Not what um, I'm saying. There, there's so many like, there's so many great, not even just Christians, just religious people that that I've met. You know what I'm saying? Through my life and and on this journey this past year. And there's so many great teachings in all of the, all the, uh, you know, different religious texts. So 
it's great people out there that you can agree to disagree on certain things, but you can still Word. be a good person and you can still good have person. conversations and you can still, you know what I'm saying, do great great things together. Facts. Um, so And that's facts. Yeah. But no, for real though, uh the UFO. The UFOs, yeah. So a hundred <laughs> I'm dead ass, I wanna discuss that. Yeah. Hundred and forty three confirmed UFO credible sightings that are unexplainable that's by so crazy the Pentagon. To me. Um, so and they me. stated that it doesn't seem to be extraterrestrial, but it also doesn't seem to be technological advancements from foreign countries like China or Russia. So they don't know what the fuck it is. Like, they really don't know what the fuck it is. So, so why does they say that it can't be extraterrestrial? Do, because because I know? guess the, re, like the way that it flew is, or I, I guess, so what they were able to, identify from the footage or whatever evidence they have they can tell that it's like of this earth okay i guess but but that's what confuses me right because i'm just as confused get, as you they're are. not trying to tell us the whole story yeah first. that's what i was about to say yeah. like it's so it's it, it's not them but we don't know what it is it but it's definitely not that but it's right. not it's not it's like you saying like yeah it's not what you thinking but we can't explain it yeah you know what i'm saying so you're not really telling us nothing you're just right. telling us like hey it's shit out there but and we, we don't, don't know yeah. what it yeah, is pretty but, much all, hey, don't worry about it all that was released was there's a lot of unexplainable shit that's valid yeah you're telling there's us something without telling us nothing. unknown things like i feel <laughs> like there's more to it and you know but you're just not right. you're not going to tell us right you're well, just like giving we us were something talking about outside we, like we were talking about outside before i feel like the past however many years have just been like slowly feeding into yeah. it so we could be prepared yeah. for this yeah. and now something much bigger is about to come something like, that's what we was talking about i feel like something coming bro <coughs> i feel like independence day is about to yeah. you know I'm saying well, you, you look like will smith yeah bro. that's the next album <laughs> 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 independence day coming out july 4th <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, real quick, man. Shout out to my brother Scott, man, for an incredible album, man. Gemini, you, man. Yo, um, it, it, it's such a dope body of work. Um, I think it's some of the best music you made to date. Um, for just sure. showed the growth from when I first met you with, um, you know, your dingy braids to now. <laughs> yo, I had some dingy braids. Don't, don't do your Googles on that one. I never, <laughs> I never knew long hair Scott. No, you didn't know long hair Scott. Yeah, that's, that's a, a different thing. Scott, man. Yeah. Was, uh, but to, to, to see you to this point and just see all the work that you put in and, uh, you know, for everything that, you know, you're doing to show for it and everything is... Uh, it's really dope, and I wanted to be able to tell you um, face to face, man, that I'm proud of you. And um, this Thank is you, this is just the just the beginning. It you is. Know what I'm saying it's just the tip of the iceberg, and um, it, it don't stop here, man. But um, just to take a sec second to acknowledge that you do you doing you. great work, um, not just with the music, but in your community too, and um, and also with your people and giving people opportunities to um, come along for, for for the ride, man. It's really nah, dope, man. Thank you, brother. Appreciate yeah. You. yeah. So, Appreciate you, my man, for yeah. real. And I'm I'm uh, I'm so happy you're able to to be a part of the album in an official, you know what I'm saying, capacity. Like Yeah, man. You you've been you've been around the journey for a few years now. You've been around, you know what I'm saying, some of these songs and, and, and different activations, but to actually have, have your voice on a record was dope. Yeah, hey, man. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate the opportunity to or for you to even like uh you know, just think of me in that way to want me to be oh, a part yeah. and uh Add to already a uh, already dope project for me to add to it. You know what I'm saying? It's a uh, honor and privilege, and that shit lives on forever. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? It lives on forever, you know? Yes, it so, does. Yes, it does. Appreciate it. But yeah, nah. back, back to aliens. My bad. Yeah, back to the aliens. I'm saying? I just want to give my dog props uh, real quick. You no, know? nah, I appreciate you. Well, actually, let's let's stick on some music because we, we actually yeah. got to get out. Yeah. We're, um, we're running late on time. I just wanted yeah. to touch on, um, real quick, actually, the. The BET Awards is tonight. I feel like we should oh, definitely. Shit. Oh shit! Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait, is yeah. there nominee? I don't even know, man. So, yeah, I'll just I'll just read this real quick. So, um, performances are gonna include Meg Thee Stallion, Lil Nas X, her, uh, a tribute to to DMX, and also uh, Queen Latifah is getting a Lifetime Achievement Award. Oh Jersey. shit! Jersey. So this, yeah. Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. Bro, big time, yeah. big time. Um, so. I haven't watched the BT Awards in, in in a long time, but honestly, yeah. this one is probably gonna be super lit. Yeah, man. I, um, it sounds it sounds good, man. I just you know I just my only thing is I wish they would just get different performers. I feel like uh, I see Meg Thee Stallion all the time. I feel like I see 
Little Nas X, who I, I don't understand. It, it was a horrible song that got <laughs> Which popped. one? Old it's Town Road? Country, old yeah, Town Old Town Road. Road. It's a horrible song, bro. Like, stop it, yo. Look at Scott. Look stop. at Scott. It's a horrible song. That's that like the popped. greatest song of all time. No, it's not, man. But Scott. Scott. You got Calm down Scott. a little bit, bro. Come on now. I was, I was all for this joke we had going on, yeah. but... One of the greatest songs of all time. I'm going to have to pause you there, bro. I'll play it. But no, nah, bro, that's my for shit, though. To, Yo, it, man, what are you talking about? That song was so last, genius. For him to last this long bro, for that horrible song. Riding to on get a on. tractor, lean up in my bladder, bro? No? No, okay. No, understood. Understood. <laughs> that's my bad. We went from Jay-Z quotes <laughs> to Little Nas X quotes about leaning up on a tractor, and he never been on a tractor, and he probably don't sit no goddamn lean. <laughs> but that's a, a deeper, darker route. You know what I'm saying? It's a deeper, deeper, darker world that we would have to dive into about these rappers We're gonna on have the next episode. Yeah, yeah, bro, we should have we should have like an unraveling rappers uh, <laughs> episode. We have to have a lot yeah. of episodes, bro. Yeah, <laughs> just for real, dedicated to certain things because that that come on, man. Old Town Road is hard, bro. I don't give a fuck what y'all <laughs> saying, bro. There's nothing you can tell me. There's, there's anyway, what I'm tell. saying is, I'm tired of seeing the same motherfuckers, man. Just like, you know, switch, it's, my, it's other people out there that's dope, that's coming up, that has real, like, dope songs yeah. that can have those opportunities, man. Like, I see the same people performing yeah. and, you know, saying, getting the same looks. There's a lot of politics, man. Yeah. It's a lot no, of politics. No, 100%. And, um, but, you know, whatever, yo. I'm, I, I sound like I'm hating, but it's just... You know, I, said, I know it's a lot yeah. of dope artists out there that should get some looks, man. And it well, shouldn't just you know, be the same motherfuckers over and over. That's come on, man. I agree. I agree. I think just from a business standpoint, this is the first. This is they're doing the BET Awards. It's the first time since the pandemic. They need they need eyes watching. So, who has a bigger? You know what I'm saying? They, I guess. Um, what nice? What nice? Also- X song. Bro, it's but, popping right now. See, but you Tell gotta me. think. You gotta think. Yeah, he, he has like the, the one. Mo- what's it called? Montero. Montero? Yeah, Montero. Yeah. Ba- that yeah, shit yeah. was only popping on one, number one on Billboard because of the video. Bro, they okay. mil- they do this bullshit <laughs> with the numbers, and that's why that shit wasn't played well, on no this. radio. That shit wasn't played on no motherfucking. See, but also you know like you that's have to consider. Bullshit. You have you have to consider though. You're not listening to it though. There may be millions no, of other I people look, that are I, listening no, to but it. But you know what? I, I might not be looking at. Uh, I might not be listening to it, p- preferably in my shit. But because of the the business that I love and that I inform myself on, yeah. I look at numbers. I look at um, uh, um, certain areas where it it it, it can kind of predict what's going to do what, and, mm-hmm. and 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 then look at numbers of sales and everything like that. So I I, I take it serious in that point. Like if I work in a business. And, and run a company and see what the competition is and some of this shit ain't nah some yeah. of that shit is is fluff some no, of that well, shit I mean, is just like I think a, a lot of this shit is definitely fluff but like j- again just talking business like BT BT isn't getting Lil Nas X because they love his music mm-hmm. it's all about getting people to watch that's 100% of the reason I guess I guess you could say that because you know what like, I'm saying? they need to like, get as many eyeballs so they can sell as much ad space the as video possible. did X amount of numbers and that's why it became number one it wasn't because of certain the spins so they was to take yeah. that and say alright he got these many views that'll bring all those views to us because yeah. we're on TV and, and it's so not, I get that yeah. part and it's yeah. not just the streams and the YouTube plays it's also like what's his inter- like what's his engagement like on his social media well that's you what I mean saying? like okay. is, it, it, it what, what I was trying to tie together was like, I, I'm saying this thing, but I guess it makes sense because of that. Uh, yeah, that yeah. They would want to do it because it's TV. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's not like it's a, a live concert and they bring it. I mean, it's not like, yeah. it's not like uh, Summer Jam, which Summer Jam's lineup is trash. They need to cancel Summer Jam. Bro, wait, it's trash what? now. Why didn't cancel Summer Jam? Yeah, Yo, that's wild. That's bold. A Boogie is the headliner. When's the last A Boogie song that was popping, bro? Why are you saying like I'm that? here, bro. I'm here, today. I'm here today. Why do you say it like but, that? But, bro, the headliner. Why do you say it like that? Yeah. No, I feel No, you. I, I fuck with you. A Boogie. I like his music. No, I know, no, bro. That's but come, that. Fam, it's been like five years. I fuck headliner. with Gaga. No. But what the fuck does she know about cameras? <laughs> Bro, Fam, to be the yeah. headliner, bro. No, okay, no man, the thing is, I feel real you. Quick. I'm, I'm sorry. The, the no t- yeah. Okay, yeah, no, no. I actually want you to because I didn't know that they were doing Summer Jam. This yeah. is the. Well, was, okay, word. Th- this is the this is the first that I, I real even quick. Heard about I'm sorry. That. Yo, Jersey, man. Jersey got like a summer jam going on on Thursday. I think it's July. Yeah, man. I, I'm shit. gonna get I'm gonna get you the info on that in a second. Yeah. But yeah, we de- let's let me look. But at I'm the, just um, saying, like, it, you, I, I've been to summer jam and motherfucking Little Wayne closed the show. 
You know what I'm saying? Or, <laughs> or, or, or like, no, you know, I'm, I'm like in I the heat you. of the shit. Like, you, you getting it? You, Drake has been like, you know what I'm saying? Like the first one after the pandemic. Was, no, no, because the thing is, and I'm, I'm, a I'm, I'm, I'm a big a, yeah, I'm an a boogie fan. So I get I, but it. I feel you. I'm, I feel not, you. I'm not shitting on him as a, I'm sitting no, I know. On, I'm sitting on like, yo, I know exactly what you're Better with this lineup, yo. Like, it's more people that put music out that you could have brought in. You know but he's also New York. Who's popping from New York right now? Who's popping from New York, New Favie. Jersey? Favi. Chef True. G, Sleepy Hollow. Cool the Ray. Dusty. Cool the Ray. Dusty, yeah. They got Ross Cool the Ray on the, they got sure. no, on the festival stage. There's a whole stage. list. But are there's the, are, is anybody that's bigger than A Boogie? Um, See, now we talking about names. I'm talking about hot right now, bro. Right. This is That's... I mean, I get it. No, and I get it. and I get what you're saying. Yeah, we're right talking now. hot right now. Then all New those York's people. Got the whole yeah. fucking list. Well, like, yeah, those people. All those, yeah. I'm picking the A Boogie nah, because word. that's the that's the headline name the that name. I'm thinking of. But it's yeah. look at the rest of that list, bro. It's like it, it don't do nothing for me. I wouldn't be like, yo, I'm 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 going to Summer Jam this year. Or, oh well, it's also it's August 22nd. It's usually like what the first week of yeah, June. It's usually yeah. It's the beginning of summer. Yeah, so it's it's August 22nd. Um, it includes. Okay, Migos, Meek Mill, and A Boogie are the headliners. That's not bad. Meek ain't put an album out in five years. I'm I'm exaggerating. But, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's not nothing that's out right now. To right. you know what I'm saying? Migos put an album out. They should, if anything, they should be the headliner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then what? What else? Yeah. No. What's the rest of that? Yeah. Those the those three are the headliners, and then they got um, Roddy Rebel and Bobby, Bobby Shmurda. Okay. All right, they got I get that. That Bobby. makes that makes sense. It's New York. They just got out. They should get that look. Yeah. But they ain't got no music either. They, yeah, no, it doesn't. But yeah, Bobby Smart doesn't really need it's a, any music. Yeah, I was going to say, you could literally play the Bobby shit from eight years ago, and I'm still going to be fucking um, going yeah, wild. Yeah, yeah that's cool. That's exactly what's going to happen. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's going to get up there and he get his, and, and do his two songs and, and stuff like that. And that's a that's a look. That's yeah. they, they deserve it. But yeah, that. but as you say, you're talking about two songs. You're talking about you're talking about ten I'm minutes worth of time. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know um, what I'm saying? Yeah. Unless it's Bobby Smurder and Friends or some shit like that, and then he can, you know what Word. I'm saying? But it's like that lineup is not. It's not. I I I've been to summer jams where it was lineups where it's like, yo, you gotta fucking be there. This lineup don't make me be like. I no, need to I, I mean I'm, that's my main point. It's that it don't have nothing to do with a boogie and, and the artists and stuff like that. It's just it's not appealing to me as the summer jam coming back from when we couldn't go to summer jam last year. Well, you know what? So a lot of those people you named are going to be on this on the festival stage. And that's why, like Coil and shit like that. Like yeah, they're on the festival stage. They're not even on the stage. Word. The big. Stage. But you know what? You also you you never know. A lot of time people from the festival stage will end up going to like we'll see Depending what the next who the artist is. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see what the next couple months you know look like for them because. As long as these people, like if, you know, Coy LeRae, they spelled wrong this, uh, come on, NJ.com, do fucking better. She they spell Coy LeRae wrong. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, but they got, uh, yeah, like Sleepy got, Hollow, uh, Sh- right. Chef G and Eli Frost are all, all going to um, be there. Gr- uh, Young Griselda Blue. out there too. Oh, right? the I fuck with Griselda. Yeah, heavy, but they on the bro. festival stage. Like, yeah. come, it's fucking Griselda, bro. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, bro, I'm not going to lie. Last time I saw anyone from Griselda, I saw Conway the Machine. Yeah. And it was at Rolling Loud. And like, bro, I'm not going to lie. Nobody knew who the fuck he was. I did. I did. But like, but they, the whole crowd was York, just though. like, who the fuck is this? Yeah, but it's New York, though. No, I was in New York, bro. I was in New York. But I was, I, I mean, I was in the crowd screaming all the lyrics. Yeah. I didn't give a fuck because I fuck with Griselda. Yeah. But like, for the most part, and now Griselda is much bigger than they were when I saw it in Rolling Loud. But mm-hmm. like, it was, it was, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, bro. All I'm saying is that shit ain't making me run out to go. To summer jam, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> and risk my life and inhale a lot of weed in there. I don't know how them niggas, they be smoking heavy in there. Though. You're talking to the wrong people. Yeah, you're talking to the wrong people right now, Pippin. No, I'm not saying I'm against it. <laughs> I know you're not against it. I'm just saying I don't, I don't understand how they. I wake up with a lit blunt in my mouth, bro. <laughs> God bless, man. <laughs> don't, don't, those days are done for me. I feel you, bro. I can't. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, bro. I'm I literally sad. cut, I cut as you were like, I feel you, bro. Put a in your mouth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it <laughs> is what it is. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Shit, I'm man. trying to look up the. I remember I got my blunt stolen at Rolling Loud, bro. 
For by the security oh, guard. Been, oh. Yeah, I was pissed, bro. It was Rolling Loud. Everyone's smoking. Yeah. Everyone's smoking. You're supposed to smoke at Rolling Loud. Well, that's what I'm saying. How, yeah. how they regulate that shit? I smoke. I was. Yeah. I was stupid. I guess everyone only smokes in the crowd. I figured mm. you could smoke anywhere. Uh, it's fucking Rolling Loud. I'm gonna yeah. just smoke wherever the fuck I want. Yeah. I was going back to get like refill my water pack because yeah. they had like refill stations or whatever. Yeah. And uh, I'm just smoking this blunt. I'm like walking to the refill station. Security guard. Starts flagging me down. I ignore her. I thought she's playing. I'm a fucking rolling loud. Yeah. I keep smoking. She walks up to me and fucking grabs it, bro. Oh. All it's in my mouth. I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? She's like, you can't do this. She like rips the tip of it. She's like, yeah, it's weed. She's like, you can't have this here. I was like, it's oh, fucking shit. rolling loud. What do you mean I can't <laughs> have this here? It's telling me to, to roll, roll out. Yeah, out. Yeah, no, <laughs> exactly. Right. And then... So she took that shit, and I knew she was just going to go smoke that, probably. Like, she probably yeah, might have smoked she it. Because, bro, I walked past two other security <laughs> guards on my way back to the stage to tell all my boys, like, yo, someone give me a blunt. Yeah, Mine yeah, just yeah. got fucking taken. Yeah. Um, I walked past two other security guards that were rolling up on a bench. I was oh, like, yo, shit. your fucking coworker just snatched my shit. And yeah. they were just like, yeah, she probably going to go smoke that. I was That's like, fucked up. <laughs> I'm pissed, bro. But, but like, looks. what am I going to do? Get kicked out yeah. if I don't let her take the blunt? Yeah. Like, nah, I paid. Yeah. All right, word. So I got the. That's crazy. Get kicked out of Rolling Loud for Rolling. For Rolling Loud, loud. <laughs> yeah, bro. All right, so the the Jersey Summer Jam goes down July first. That is, what is that? Okay, so that yeah, that's this upcoming Thursday, July first. Word. Um, Summer Elizabeth, Jam, right? New Jersey. It's gonna be at Dingbats in Clifton. Oh, okay. Word. word. Yeah, and. It includes a couple names that uh, Samad Savage we talked about. Yo, shout Prince out Hill, Samad. yeah. Shout yeah. out Samad. I don't know if we ever talked about Prince Hill, but Prince Hill, yeah. So, but he's, I'm not familiar. Yeah, he's he's dope. I think he's like Central Jersey, but um, one of those like like real dope visuals, Word. like real um versatile with the music. He's he's a dope lyricist and and but not. J- I don't, you just have to check him out. He's right. he's a big personality. He's dope. But um, yeah, Prince Hill, Chad B, Chad B is gonna be there. Oh, shout Chad out B, Chad Chad B. B. Yeah, shout out Chad B. Um, and there's also yo, you see his sneakers? Yeah, bro, he's been doing his yeah. thing. Yeah, man. that's dope though. Yeah, made his own sneaker, yo. Yeah, that's fire. there's also a uh, Rag Boy Cam, uh, Rec Banger, um, Mr. Chicken, Trey Twiz. That's a fire name. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Chicken? <laughs> Mr. Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Chicken. Yeah, bro. I need to, I need to tap in with more jerseys because I don't. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, there's, there's so many jerseys. There's, there's a well, lot so of jerseys. You got to be nice someone to get we named Mr. was just chicken. talking about Mr. Chicken. What was that? Someone we were was just talking about Mr. Chicken the other day. Hmm. I think it was someone in Itchy. You got you to gotta be nice if your name is Mr. Chicken. You yeah. got to be nice you if gotta your name is nice, Mr. Chicken. That's mad yeah. confident, yo. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, I'm definitely, um, I'm definitely popping out to that. Uh Jersey, you should definitely go support. It's a lot of Jersey artists in the building, so shit, we're definitely that's what's up, need that. Man. Shout out Jersey, man! All Big you time. got, all all the Jersey artists is working hard, man, and just you know, what I'm saying, putting on for the state, man, is definitely dope, man. And yeah. you know, I love the next wave of this shit, man. Just yeah, you know, really, really bringing this shit in strong and letting them know that you know we here, man, and yeah. we. <clears throat> we getting it popping, man. Jersey right on the forefront, bro. Yeah. We're yes, like sir. right on the precipice of being in fucking Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. We right I mean? there, bro. We just got to get together, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. the That's, pro- that's bro, literally, saw, that's all it is. Meme. Yeah. I saw this meme, and it was just like, it was like Atlanta rappers, and it was, it was like a staircase, and it was like everyone helping each other back up, yeah. getting up the ladder in the staircase, and it was just like, uh, I forget, it was Atlanta and Miami, I think, or Florida mm. rappers, and it was the same thing, and yeah. they're showing them going up the staircase, and then just shows Jersey rappers, and it's, everyone's got a strap <laughs> shooting at each other on the staircase, bro. That's, bro, right. like, that's, that's what fact. it is. Like That's a fact. When, <laughs> yeah. when I, I lived in uh, in uh, South Florida for a little bit, man, and I was when I was doing, uh, when I was trying to do music myself as an artist and just to see the the camaraderie that they had with each other and even accepted me i wasn't even from there and they just fucked with the music and they was like yo uh, we doing this show over here we can i can get you in here blah 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 they plug they work together they plug each other in yeah they doing they do shows and they network and they get the same dudes to come through and be like, yo, we doing this show over here, blah, 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 just to give you spotlight, just to give you shine. And you end up meeting these dudes and you go to these shows, show to show, and you end up learning these niggas sets. Yeah, and right. it's like, all right, I'm, I'm going to show love to this yeah, song. And I like right. this song because I heard it. You know what I'm saying? And they get the crowd yep. hype for your shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just they all, they work together because yeah. they know we all in this shit together. And we work together with strength and numbers. And you know what I'm saying? we have a better opportunity for somebody to get on 
and that person like, yo, right. they helped me. Or they I know this person is dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This guy is dope. We used to come about, let me put him on about a butt. That's how it that's how it should be, man. Yeah. <clears throat> it should it should be like that. It should be able to help, you know, one it's 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 enough money out there for everybody, so, bro. So, and it's enough spotlight and it's enough shine for uh, that's everybody. That's like that's a line I always yo. say, bro. There's yeah. like it's true, though. So there's so much money. There's man. too much for any. Niggas be There's acting like much. it's only gonna be like it's only this much here, and I gotta be the first one to right. get yeah. it. And I can be the Bro, only one to get it. You know what? It's scarcity. It's drilled into our yeah. mind. Listen to to Kendrick Lamar's Black Boy Fly. He mm-hmm. talks about it perfectly there. But um, just this this idea of scarcity that is drilled into uh, like it, all of us in the world, mm-hmm. and and it makes us feel like we have to be so concerned with there not being enough. For all of us, mm-hmm. I have to, you know, I have to hoard. I have to, you know, I have to take this for myself because, mm-hmm. you know, if if I allow somebody else to get it, then I may never get any of that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And there's like, there's too much money out here. Yeah. yeah. Like they, twenty five percent of America's money <laughs> was printed this year. Last year. Last year. Wait, wait. Like we will just like make the, money. The money in circulation. The money, yeah, twenty five percent of the money in circulation uh-huh. was printed last year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like we didn't have any. We don't have money for reparations. Corona hit. We found two trillion dollars in a week. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. there's money out there. Yeah. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? And and because yeah. we because we feed into the system of scarcity and we act like you know, we we participate in acting like there's it's not out there. We don't. We limit ourselves. We limit ourselves in our careers, in our society, in our in our communities. We Listen, limit ourselves in thinking man, that there's been, like a limited amount I'm that just, we can't all. I just want to say how prosper. proud I am of us tying all this shit together. <laughs> this long, this conversation. How many times we interweaved all this shit, nigga? We nice. <laughs> we nice. <laughs> nice. We didn't even mean to do this Yo, shit, man. Facts, man. Hey, we should probably end it there, <laughs> yeah, though, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we, we ran deep on this one, man, bro. Yeah. J. Crew, yeah, it was you. such a pleasure yeah. having you on, man. We're definitely gonna have you back on oh, soon. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, real soon. Um Appreciate it, you got man. anything Appreciate else you want to share before we get out of here? Uh, yeah, man. Um uh shout out my baby girl Julia. Yeah. And my wife, my beautiful wife, Melissa. Yeah. Um, you know, shout out y'all boys, man. like I said, uh, uh I told you before, and, and Steve too, I I'm proud of y'all, man. Y'all doing a lot of hard work. This shit is dope. Um, we need to continue it and um and, and let it grow yeah. because uh, these conversations is good and it's, um, and it's, and it's a uh, dynamic that, you know, people need to see more of, you yeah. know, young men, creatives of different backgrounds coming together and having conversations, intelligent conversations on different um, subjects and stuff like that. And, you know, presented it, presented yeah. it to the people um, in, a, in a dope way. You know what I'm saying? So um just shout out to y'all. Thank you. And Thank um you, Yeah. Yeah, man. Jersey game. Hey. the game. Yeah. Uh, Till next time.